Well, it's time to make this analog light switch digital and smart. We've got a couple of uh, light switches from Sanope. They make a lot of great smart home technology, actually based here in Canada, which is kind of uh, cool. And once we have these installed, Laura will be able to control her lights from the app or her smart assistant. So there's actually a few different steps that we have to do here. Number one, we're gonna to have to install these. Number two, we'll have to make sure that the app actually recognizes them so that she can set up schedules and turn them on and off. And then third, we will want to make sure that uh, her smart assistant, in this case, it's uh, the Google Home, can see them uh, as well. But uh, important, before you get into these switches, to know what kind of switches you need. A lot of homes have lights that can be controlled by two or even three different uh, light switches. So you'll wanna make sure that you get what's called a three-way switch. Uh, and both of these actually have that capability. Yeah, but not all manufacturers make three-way switches. Typically on these smart switches, you'll see a blue wire. That'll be an indication that it's a three-way switch, but you really won't know what you actually have until you take the plate off the wall for the installation. So do that before you go shopping. And so again, that's kind of a common term for these. So even if there was just two light switches that control that light, it's still called a three-way switch. And even if you had four switches controlling it, it's a three-way switch. So again, I would make sure that you have that type of switch before you connect anything. So the first step, I'm gonna go turn the lights off, or sorry, the electricity off. Turn the power off, yes. And don't forget, if you are remotely afraid of electricity, don't wanna do this, just get an electrician. You don't wanna mess this up because if you do, it could be bad. The other thing you need to be conscious of when you are putting a smart switch into an older box like this is that it actually will fit. Uh, we've got a lot of extra paint and a lot of extra uh, drywall in there, so you're gonna have to clear that out, but uh, it basically just makes sure that both boxes will fit side by side and also that you're able to put two boxes side by side, depending on the manufacturer, they may give off enough heat that it may not be advisable. So check the instructions with whatever devices you're installing. Looks like John's done all the hard work. <laughs> uh, as now, always. Yeah, as always. Now we're gonna have to install it into the uh, the app. So Sanope uses uh, something called the uh, the Nevi Web app here. And uh, again, it, this is much like most of these smart light uh, switch apps and, and devices here. You basically go in uh, to add a device and I'm gonna click on that, select the light category and basically just go through the installation process. It's a little wizard that kind of just walks you through all the different steps that you uh, want to take. Already with the Sanope, I've installed what's called a Zigbee bridge. It's a little kind of uh, gadget box that I've installed over at the router. It's going to be necessary to uh, hit a button on that uh, when we're setting this up. And uh, now it's asking me to hit both buttons here to make sure that uh, it can find it. And once that's all done, it is connected to the app, which is kind of a cool thing. And uh, now Laura will be able to control these lights if she's at work and wants to make sure that uh, if she's working late, the lights are on so people will think that there's someone home. And uh, next step after this here is to get it uh, connected with the Google Home. And so that's a pretty easy step as well. We're basically gonna go into the uh, Google Home uh, app here and this thing changes quite a bit so it might look a little different but it's kind of the same type of idea. We're gonna go into devices here so once we've got it into the Google Home app, and I've uh, done that with both the light switches here now, I can basically use uh, voice to control them. Hey Google, turn the kitchen lights on. There they go. Hey Google, turn the kitchen lights off. Kind of cool. So, you know, there's a few steps involved typically with these. Again, got to get it uh, recognized in the smart home app that uh, it's part of the ecosystem of the manufacturer you're using, and then get it into the smart assistant uh, app as well, be it Google Home or Amazon Alexa.